Meanwhile, at Microsoft's main Xbox studios, Johnson, we're being destroyed by Sony and the Death Stranding trailer. What have you got? Well, it's good that you say that. We've been looking at market research and we've got Halo. Yes, the fans want more Halo, sir. More Halo, you say? Um, Johnson? J Johnson? Y yes, sir? Johnson, you're fired! I've always wanted to say that. What's good, YouTube? It's your host, Axel Rose, aka The Shogun with the slogan, aka The Bilderberg Boy, and you're now watching MVP Magazine. Now, Death Stranding has definitely been one of modern gaming's biggest mysteries, with a reveal trailer that didn't tell you anything about the gameplay or the story. All we got is very stylized trailers with an awesome soundtrack and a whole host of Hollywood stars. Due to the mysterious nature of the game's marketing and overall lack of information regarding story and gameplay, this caused some gamers namely Xbox fanboys, to become skeptics and write this game off as an overglorified walking simulator. But thanks to the new trailer by Sony and Kojima Productions, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to see that those skeptics are very wrong. Death Stranding seems to be an amalgamation of cinematic open worlds and stylish gameplay. So basically, this seems to be an innovation in the action open world genre, which at this point in gaming, where a lot of ideas are being redone over and over and over again, Halo and Gears, I'm looking at you, this seems to be a breath of fresh air. Now, even after the trailer, we're not exactly sure what is going to be going on or how we're going to be going about doing it. But one thing is for sure, this game definitely looks like something original and it's definitely got people pumped to play it. So far, Death Stranding looks like it calls on and uses all the cinematic tropes we can expect from the golden one, Hideo Kojima. Crazy characters, dark locations, expansive environments, everything. And it looks like a culmination of all the work he's done on games like Metal Gear Solid, Zone of the Enders, even classics like Snatcher, and just bringing it full circle into something completely new. Now, this game is definitely something that's needed in the industry at the moment, with third-person action games kind of becoming one of the mill and stagnating altogether. Something like this, a breath of fresh air, is definitely something which is needed. And really, it's a shame that on the eve of a potentially groundbreaking piece of media, some people just can't get on board the hype train. And it's true, people. Like, from looking at the comments, Xbox fanboys are on suicide watch. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. The hate and the salt just keeps on flowing. And today, people, that's what we're going to look at. Now, take this excellent tweet here. How I look after getting an Xbox and not being able to play Death Stranding Spider-Man on God of War. E e e even he knows he's a clown. That's an Xbox owner that's speaking the truth right there. A and look at this one. My cousin just took his Xbox One stuff out to the curb after seeing the Death Stranding trailer. Look, Microsoft have people abandoning their consoles. Phil! What are you doing, Phil? Phil! And this one here is just gold. So, PlayStation fans are waiting for The Last of Us 2 and Death Stranding. And what are Xbox fans waiting for? Not a darn thing. Oh, Phil! Phil! Phil, come on. And look at this haymaker right here. Listen to the haymaker. Xbox hasn't shown a new IP since 2015. And the last exclusive was Recall four years ago. Xbox shows games which they either cancel, delay, or flop entirely. Woo! That's what you call that sauce, Phil! Now, look at these delusional Xbox fools. Wouldn't surprise me to see Death Stranding hitting Xbox down the line. <laughs> yes! That's... I'm not even going to finish reading that tweet. This guy's obviously an idiot with age. 
So, it's actually gotten so bad that the Xbox are begging Phil for Death Stranding. Kojima is a mastermind. Try and bring Death Stranding to us Xbox users. This will probably be the game of the generation. <laughs> yeah. They're begging Phil. They are begging for quality. Oh my, uh, oh my gosh, and it continues. Other than Quantum Break, we as Xbox gamers rarely get to play something of the caliber of what we saw with Death Stranding. In terms of production, obviously there's Gears, but this is a new IP. Bravo, Sony. And, uh, shout outs to him. Shout outs, Phil. Now, there's a load more tweets from salty Xbox fans, and there's, there's, a, there's even more disgruntled Xbox gamers at this moment in time. And the funniest thing about this is that we're not even close to the release date. There's definitely more that they have to show us from the game. We haven't even seen any boss battles or real plot points. And the internet is already going crazy for this game. So, let's just keep it real. You should be able to enjoy games, whether you're an Xbox fan, PlayStation fan, Nintendo weirdo, whatever. You should just be able to see a good piece of media and just get behind it. Like, I am totally into anything that comes around that looks great. Whether it's Scalebound, I was really excited for that. Whether it's that new game, which I keep forgetting the name of, by Platinum. And it's coming to the Switch and stuff like that. Actually, next month. Either this month or next month. One, I'm, I, well, as far as the Switch goes, I'm really into Daemon X Machina and stuff like that. I, I love all video games at the moment. All video games which are pushing the boundaries, trying to do something new, and trying to give us our money's worth but it's just so funny to see the overall hate from a certain small fan base well well you know the xbox fan base isn't that small but you know it's just a vocal minority of just crazy people who really want to hate on sony and nintendo and anything good that they do and it seems like right now they're getting their just desserts and stuff like that for all the nonsense they've taught over the whole generation. Oh, we don't buy consoles for multiplats. We buy them for exclusives. Where's your exclusive, son? The power of the cloud. Crackdown proved that it's always raining. It's always sunny. So you're never going to get that cloud experience. You know, you know. It is just so hilarious to see these Xbox fanboys on Suicide Watch at the moment. And to be honest... If you was as picky with Microsoft uh, as you are with Nintendo and Sony, maybe you wouldn't have had to, maybe your last exclusive wouldn't have come out, you know, almost like six years ago. You know, that's disgusting that Recall was like actually the last clinically like proven exclusive to come out for that console. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, if you've been around here before, you know that I own all the consoles. There was a time when I was really into my Xbox One X and stuff like that, but... I'm a real gamer and I go where the games go. Always put your interests first. These are million dollar companies which will, they'll be okay without you, you know what I'm saying? But you've got to do what the right thing is for you. Now, Microsoft's E3 is right around the corner so it's going to be really interesting to see what they're going to bring to the table and if they're going to be able to satiate um, Xbox gamers. And maybe they might have something that makes Sony fans get riled up. That'll be very interesting to see, but I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much doubt it. You know, you know how they get down. So, anyway, make sure you like, subscribe. The Bilderberg Boy will be back. Mm -hmm. Sucker free, people. Always stay sucker free.